I'll just um, come straight out. What I said yesterday, and I think a lot of people echo it, is the Rogers staying that <clears throat> obviously, um, you know, the places that are most upset about it are Minnesota, Chicago, and Detroit because he's still in the division. And, you know, Detroit has golf, and they're hoping that he can show maybe this year before they have to make a long-term decision on him that he is the right guy. And they Bears hope that Justin Fields is their guy. And then there's Minnesota with Kirk Cousins again. Um, do you think he can win a Super Bowl there, Rick? Do you? Because Aaron uh, Rodgers? No, sir. Uh, <laughs> Kirk Cousins. Do you think Kirk Cousins can win a Super Bowl there in Minnesota, Rick? I, I think it's, um, you know, I think he's a very talented quarterback. He has a lot of great qualities around him. Uh, I think he's one of the most accurate throwers uh, in the league. Uh, you watch some of the tape and some of the throws he makes under pressure. Uh, I think some of the other things he has to have is a very strong supporting cast around him. I don't know how the new regime feels about him. I know he has a working relationship uh, with Kevin O'Connell, who, who I think they work together in Washington, and what that relationship is. So it'll be interesting to see. I know, you know, he's had a lot of, a lot of uh, very good production. I know last year uh, we lost a lot of games on the last drives, and there's some of the games that in overtime that he made some plays to help us win games. He won a big game a few years ago down in New Orleans uh, in overtime for us. So I think usually these quarterbacks, but everything has to line up and everything has to be not only – Good for the quarterback, but the team gets hot. You, you know, you never know in this league. I remember we lost in, to Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC Championship game, and Nick Foles, when Carson Wentz got hurt, struggled mm-hmm. a little bit, but he got hot at the right time. They beat us pretty significantly uh, in Philadelphia, went on to win the Super Bowl uh, with Nick Foles. So you never know. Uh, but I do believe that no matter who it is, you have to have everything kind of aligned up, good defense, you know, things going on offense staying healthy and who knows what happens well obviously look you know there, nobody really gets a mulligan in life but would you give cousins the same contract again if you could wave a wand and go back in time would you do that well you, you know when we went back and we looked at the, and we went through that decision making process mm-hmm. uh you know we got to the nfc championship game with case keenan keenum who had a phenomenal year and we were one game away from getting to the super bowl which was in our stadium that year mm-hmm. and we felt very strongly that there was very few people that come on the market with kirk cousins uh excuse, with i think kirk cousins just pulled the the, <laughs> the plug on his phone I was like, what just happened? Rick didn't really want to answer that question. <laughs> Would you give him the contract? You like that? <laughs> we don't like that. <laughs> Del Tufo. Tufo. You know, every once in a every while when you're paying while. attention. DJ Mikey hey, just D. Answer the phone Hold on, he's back on. back on. He's back on. There you go. There we go. You there, Rick? I had no intent on hanging up on you. <laughs> <laughs> well done. That is fast and quick. And that's it for the show today. Hey, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. As you were saying, sorry, you were saying, very, I was hanging literally on every word you were saying. So you were saying about Keenum and everything back in the day. So would you give him the yeah, same contract so, again? Yeah, when we, well, we felt very strongly that, that a Kirk Cousins doesn't come on the open market like that. And he had a very strong market uh, with other teams pursuing him. So we knew we were going to have, if we wanted to land Kirk Cousins, we were going to have to do something beyond what was normally done just because someone like that doesn't come on the open market and free agency. So we felt as, as an organization, speaking with our ownership group, our coaches, and, uh, and all the decision makers are building that it was the right move for us at the time. All right. Well, thanks for coming on the show. You checked every box, Rick. So thank you very much. <laughs> thanks for the well, call. Yeah, it was fun being on. You bet. Uh, we'll chat again soon. Thanks for the call. Okay. You thanks bet. for having me on today. You bet. Thank you. Rick Spielman, former Minnesota Vikings general manager. He brought it. He brought it. <laughs> you know, uh, and, and I look forward to having him on again. It'll be great. Um, did you notice the one word that he did not say when I asked him if Kirk Cousins 
can win a Super Bowl in in uh, Minnesota? What's yeah. the one word? He didn't, the... he didn't say yes. That's the word. <laughs> hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.